Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video we're going to be talking about the new Umbara Stronghold. We have quite a few uh, new bits of information about it but nothing too comprehensive either. The first two things I want to mention is what you guys see in the background of this video is a screenshot of, the, of what kind of the train is going to look like. Basically the way it's going to work is the train itself will be stationary but the outside environment will be moving. So that's going to kind of give the illusion of movement and I really hope that they add some really cool elements to the outside like hope you can see out I hope they add different kind of dynamic environments to it it's not just kind of the same backdrop moving against your train but we'll see if well, you know what actually happens also the way the train is going to be moving I'm really excited to see is it circular is that a certain route uh, that's going to be all exciting but anyways, we do have some new information. It seems as though it's going to be a relatively small stronghold. We're looking at kind of like Manan, like not the same size or anything. I'm just saying like, you know, Manan was pretty underwhelming. It was small. It seems as though the Umbara transport is going to be kind of small in that respect. Because if you look at it, there's the initial purchase. Now that's going to cost you 2 million credits. Um, then you have only two other expansions. You have the center card and the front card. Both of those expansions only cost you 800,000 credits. So it's relatively cheap. A total of 3.65 million credits for the entire stronghold. For your guild, it will cost you a total of 25.5 million. So considerably more expensive, but still less expensive than the other strongholds. Now the total number of hooks is a little bit surprising. The initial purchase gives you 200 hooks uh, and then the center card gives you another 100 hooks and the front card gives you 125 hooks. So that's a total of 425 hooks. Um, once again, not as big as I was expecting, honestly. I thought they were gonna make it a little bit more grand, but it's a moving train, so how big can you really make it, I guess? The occupancy is only 30 people. It can only hold a maximum of 30 people, which is, this, which is really small in my opinion. Um, so yeah, the image that you guys see here is kind of a, a good kind of sense of what it's going to look like. Also, there is a video and I didn't want to take parts of the, I didn't want to like show this video because it was data mined by Jedi, Jedipedia. So I'd rather leave a link to this video in the description. And so you can go ahead and check that video for itself. It actually shows off what the stronghold looks like and uh, kind of the style and the size that you can be expecting. Now, the way you jump from the different carts is you actually jump the gap, which is kind of cool. And you can decorate both the inside of the cart and the top of the cart. So not like directly outside but the top of the cart you can put some nice stuff on there is also a starship hook and stuff like that so it's going to be pretty large and it's going to allow for you to uh, decorate in many different creative ways i'll be really excited to see the ways people decorate it uh that's about it i mean there isn't much information I, I was kind of hoping for more i was kind of hoping for it to be bigger as i mentioned earlier but it's kind of small i don't think it's better than manan like if i had to choose between only getting the embarrassed stronghold or the manan i would definitely take the manan over it but the fact that we're getting both, the fact that it's not too expensive is pretty good. Uh, so a lot of people are going to be able to afford it. It's kind of just this nice little add-on thing. I won't be getting it for the guild because it's too small. I definitely would take the Manan over it for the guild. So I won't be coming for the guild, but I'll definitely be getting it personally. Like it's really cheap and then it's going to be a nice thing to kind of just um, decorate and stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. If you have some other information to supplement this, definitely uh, let me know. And also make sure you go check out that link so you can watch a full video of what the whole stronghold looks like and get a really good sense of, of what you're going to be able to do with it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.